told us yet why they suspect foul play. What we do know is that Stacey Crawford went missing on August 9th. I actually just received a message right now from the lead detective involved in the case. He tells me that she was last seen in the Woodwell area. And what we know today is that this vehicle right here behind me, a Chevrolet Tahoe, is the vehicle that belonged to Crawford when she went missing. You can take a look at our closer video that we have from our Skyview video. You can see in the car that the front windshield has been caved in along with the back side windows. We don't know as of this time as to whether or not this is the reason why investigators believe foul play was involved. And it's unclear if the damage was recent or if this happened some time ago. We do know that her personal items, including her social security card and her driver's license were later found on a Facebook post by her sister. She said in there, they are still actively looking for information and asking people not to post false reports publicly as they try to learn more in this case. They are asking anyone to contact the Marion County Sheriff's Department. This is where we're at right now is outside the training center for the Marion County Sheriff's Office. This is the impound lot where the car is currently being held. We asked the Marion County Sheriff's Office as to why they suspect foul play. They said the investigation is still currently ongoing. Experts are seeing an increase in students thinking about suicide. The suicide rate is not going up. It's just the mindset about it, which can be scary for a parent sending their child off to school. It happens all the time in our community, and we don't even know how often it happens because no one will even talk about it. An alarming trend tracked by the CDC. Their numbers show suicide rates increased nearly 60 percent between 2007 and 2018 for those between 10 and 24. In Hamilton County, there has been an increase when it comes to depression um, and anxiety regarding our students. After a global pandemic and social changes, experts are looking into younger age groups. According to Eve Knight, who works on the Tennessee Advisory Council for Suicide Prevention, there is an increase in suicidal thoughts with elementary aged students. We're seeing an increase in suicide attempts in self-reported or youth self-reported suicidal thoughts and behaviors and feelings. The executive director of social, emotional and academic development of Hamilton County Schools says they are addressing mental health issues with the new program. We call it the APP, it's Academic Press and Personalization. Through this program, the district is promoting a culture of belonging for kids and positive interactions between students and teachers. While schools are trying to help, the middle paths Eve Knight worries that they may not be aware of the seriousness of suicidal ideation in youth. That's because information on elementary age students is limited. But we are losing dozens of kids under the age 11 every year. We're losing hundreds of kids statewide every year. People are suffering in silence. And you know what the number one thing is that parents tell me? Well, I just, I wish I would have known. A break in a cold case from over 30 years ago. The man who killed a 34-year-old woman in 1988 has been identified by the GBI. Henry Haas Wise was identified as the killer of Stacy Lynn Charhowski, known as the rising fawn Jane Doe. Wise was a truck driver traveling the route for Western Carolina Trucking Company and was also a stunt driver. Although Wise died in a car accident in 1999, DNA provided by his family identified him as the killer. This case is key because it's the first time that we know of that investigative genealogy was used to identify both the victim and the killer in the same case. And let this serve as a warning to every murderer, rapist, and violent offender out there. The FBI and our partners will not give up. It may take years or even decades, but we are determined and we will continually seek justice for victims and their families. Now, Stacy Charhowski was buried in an unmarked grave in 1988 in Dade County, but has since then be, been reunited with her family in spirit, bringing them some peace more than 30 years after her disappearance. <laughs>